Beautiful day in the middle of June and um, I'm just going to do an update on the grafting project, my big grafting project which I've been running for a couple of years now as a really big old tree in the garden. It was a cooking apple, Arthur Turner. Not a bad cooking apple at all but we don't need cooking apples. I'm grafting it over to um, a different variety, Queen Cox. Now I just want to catch up with this and show you where we are now because I know some of you have done successful grafting with the wood I sent out. Um, but before I say that, just a, a, a briefly, I haven't posted a lot for a while, and that will continue. That would, let's say, I won't be posting a lot. Since I last posted here, I have been to Jersey, Belfast, Manchester, Basingstoke, and Birmingham teaching skin cancer diagnosis, which at, at, at the present time, I thought for the foreseeable future, it's going to be a much bigger deal in my life than the orchard. The orchard is mature. Um, I'm not posting every week about it, I'm not even posting every month necessarily. Those of you who have questions, almost certainly I have already answered those questions, um, but I'm still working on the book in fits and starts. The book will appear eventually, I wouldn't like to say when, and that will answer all known questions. But just to say, I'm not going to post quite so often in future, so don't worry, I'm okay. Right, now let's see what's going on here. Um, come in now this tree was sawn back very hard as you can see very hard indeed two years ago it sent lots of shoots up I removed a lot of them and now we're left with some shoots that I want now, I've got a couple of tools out here I've got secateurs and if you want to focus in here Julia now there comes a time and precisely when that time is is to some extent a matter of judgment but there comes a time when having grafted in your trees that you want you're then coming in and saying right when what am I going to cut out and what I'm doing now, I'm snipping out some stuff. Now this is an interesting issue. Here we can see a cleft graft, and this is going okay. Now somebody emailed me to say that they'd had success with uh, most of uh, some wood I sent them, but they had some uh, blossom coming, just like you see here. And what should they do with it? I've already answered that question. Here we are again. You should, with very great care, snick it out. Ideally, with long, thin-nosed... Um, right, so I've taken that out because we do not want any fruits there. Can you look close in there? Can you see this has actually set a couple of little baby apples? Well, we don't want them. So with very great care, very, very great care, uh, very great care, uh, remove them, uh, not knocking out any shoots. That's a shoot there, you see, I want shoots. Right, let's move on here. We've got some more of the same, that's good. Um, you, the tree objects to what's happening and it sends up loads of, loads and loads of, loads of shoots. So we stick them out, we stick out the shoots. Don't do this too early. Um, but when the time comes, you have to do it. Uh, there's a lot of talk about nurse um, branches. That's where you leave some branches in to let them grow away. And I think to let, so that the tree doesn't die if you cut it all back too radically. I think leaving some nurse branches is probably quite a good idea. Okay, I need a saw now. Um, out and uh, here you see this is if you like a nurse branch we've got here can you home in home in Julia we've got a, a saddle graft there that's growing away nicely cleft graft there as I've often said whether you do a, a saddle or a cleft or a rind graft depends on the relative diameters of the stock and the sign but this needs to come out can you see the mistake I'm about to make I'm not careful we quite easily whiz through there and then go through and cut this off, which I don't want to do. So I'm just going to work slowly. Okay, nice and slow. This saw is quite capable of going through this branch in one pull, but if it does that, it'll go through and cut the branch beyond, which I don't want to happen. So I'm just doing this very, very gently. Maybe just turn it around and stick in the other direction. Yes, I know that's towards my wrist, but I'm just being really careful, okay. You see, good control there. All right, so that's out, and um, see what we're doing now. Quite purposeful. I'm not going to show you the whole of the operation. It's going to take me a little bit too long to do that, and it's not that interesting. Every, I mean, once you've got the principle, you can see what I'm doing. Okay, can you see what we're doing there? Down here, Julia. Then we've got another branch that's taken. That's good. This one here. You see, there's a. There is a. Uh, a nice graph that's taken, uh, so the branches from below, the cut branches coming up from below, we'll take those out. I probably won't finish the job today, I certainly won't finish it while we're filming. Again over here, what's going on here? 
and do work slowly because otherwise you'll cut stuff you don't want to cut. Uh, I can see what's going on there. Okay, there's a couple of snicks out and then we've got, I'm just removing the wood that's competing with the new wood and here you see there's some wood growing into and competing with directly that's out and here can you see there's another um, when to remove the polythene, I probably won't remove the polythene for another week or so but this is quite an important um, operation, removing the competing branches uh, which are coming up from below your graft points. Now precisely when to do this, you know, I don't like to make claims that I can't back up and uh, I have my opinions, I've got no problem with that uh, and my practices, but I, I don't like to put my practice across as absolutely definitive if you see what I mean, I mean, I say this is, this is what I do, these are the principles, but the actual details I'm not quite certain of. Maybe you can find somebody who knows better than me, or maybe you can work it out for yourself, if you get what I mean. Here we've got a few more, see nice saddle grafts. Incidentally, we've got quite a good success right here, haven't we? I'm just looking carefully, this is quite a big branch in the middle of a tree. I'm just check, double checking to make sure, because I've put about 25 grafts in here, I can't remember exactly where they were. No grafts there, take that out. Take that out, take that out, and here we are, it's a nice little um, double cleft graft. You see what I'm doing, you get the idea, it's not that complicated is it? Um, gonna need to take a few big ones out over this way. Here's the big one, needs to come out. Again, like I said, I'm just sawing very carefully here, just slow and steady. By the way, a very sharp saw, as with a very sharp knife, you know, you're safer using a really sharp one, because then you can just exercise some control. And yes, I know the ivy is not a great idea. I'm going to deal with the ivy in due course, do not worry. Alright, so how are we doing? This is not looking bad, is it? Uh, this branch, yeah, no, that's not grafted. Take that out. That's not grafted, take that out. Take that out, out. That's not grafted there, is it? No. So this all seems, this is not that reasonably, reasonably straightforward, what I'm doing. Essentially, I'm just removing all of the wood. Some of it, wood that was there previous, to the grafting, some of it wood that's grown up since the grafting took place. Work reasonably slowly because otherwise you'll cut off a graft <laughs> and afterwards think, oh dear, I wish I hadn't done that. You know, work sl reasonably slowly. And you'll have to come back and do it again as well because you'll get some new strong grafts coming up. Oh, this is disappointing. Here's an A graft that hasn't taken. Or maybe it's just taken. You see here there's a little um, graft. It looks like it probably hasn't taken. That's the exception. Most of them have. I'll probably afford to lose that one. And that proves my point, Whoops. by the way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I, I, I was, that was deliberate. It wasn't an accident. Um, I decided that was such a poor, weak-looking little thing that we could easily afford to to lose it, bearing in mind I've got about 90% of the uh, grafts have come up successful. And here's another, yeah we don't need this either, this can go. That one over there can go, I will tidy this up after the few here. Oh, last, look. Here we are. Deliberate mistake, well no, actually it was an accidental mistake. You see this was a graft that got knocked. A little bit of carelessness, okay, and that's broken there as well. There you see, I'm telling everyone to be careful, but I wasn't quite as careful as I might have been. That just goes to show, doesn't it? Whatever. You've still got one coming from that because you put two... Sure. I mean, that'll be okay. Uh, but just an example. I mean, okay, I'm not being as careful as I might be because I'm doing a video here. All right, I'll just do this as well again with care. We're doing a video here and thinking about the video as well as the work I'm doing. So there we go. It's taken that through. 
Um, all right, we're not doing badly here. Uh, yeah, it's looking fairly well done. Um, any more out here? This way. Yeah. It's, it, as is so often the case in a garden, um, in an ordinary backyard, that you know you've got a tree that was planted by somebody else and might not have had necessarily the right care. It's planted in a funny old place. This tree. Um, yeah, you've got to watch out for falling down here. I broke my blooming Achilles tendon on that's more easy, a simpler step than this. So I think we're okay. I think we've um, just about done that. So just withdrawing back, pulling back, you can see there's a lot less of the tree now than there was uh, because I've cut out all the Arthur Turner. Um, but everything you can, more or less everything you can see, and I'll go over and take some time to perfect the job later. But more or less everything you can see there, all of the green there, that is the queen cox that I grafted in. And where we've got pretty decent growth now, now I've removed the competing branches and it's only the second week of June. Um, I am very confident that that will grow away and within two years, probably within two years, maybe three, we will have a decent crop of queen cox off of that, which is a far superior apple in every way to Arthur Turner. Um, so, hopeful, and I'll return to this. This is the third year I've been reading about this particular tree. I'll return to that later. And I hope that answers um, any peripheral or related questions that people might have about when to snip stuff off after grafting.